I've been working on the second spread. I'm just going to go back and show you. This is the cover, and I've been working on the cover a little bit here. Alrighty, and I've um, added some embellishments with uh, um, collage paper, some more paint. Um, I've used these um, ink tents, uh, which are great. They're co like colored pencils, but then they bleed if you add water. So I'm just sharing with that. I've been working on the cover. This here is the first spread, and I think I'm, I'm about done with this one here. And now I'm on to the second spread where this one opens up vertical. And so I just wanted to share with you some of the things that are going on in this spread. Here I had the reinforcement holes that were there, and I put them down and then I rubbed some um, acrylic paints with a baby wipe, and then I pulled off the reinforcement rings, and then I have a few of them that were pretty good, and they weren't all funny um, from being pulled off, so I added that onto this paper here. And then I'm playing with this. This is half. This is full in a row. And then I decided to bring that same shape of the ringlets in larger. So what I used is I used the um, masking tape to um, the size that I wanted. And I used this here on the bottom of this paint um, as the center circle. And then I just had some red collage paper that I cut so that I could repeat the same thing that I have going on here, but even larger. And so then with this, I have this little, um, this is actually like a coffee filter roll of paper with India ink on it. Um, this was another stamp from the same stamp, which I'm gonna close this so we can see right here. Okay, a stencil, not a stamp, sorry. <laughs> and I stitched it onto the paper, glued it down, and then there's even a tea bag right there. And I had this little saying that goes from the tea bag. I may put a little piece of paper in there because I opened up the tea bag so that you could um, see something in there. So I haven't figured out that yet. I'm trying to stay with the theme on this pages of this. Um, titanium green pale, like the pale green, and then working with the reds that are there, trying not to go into Christmas colors. So at this time right now, I am just adding some funky stitching here. I poke some holes as something different. So I'm just going to share with you um, this process. Um, I just poked a whole bunch of holes, and now the back side you're not going to see much. And so I am just working the, um, this is waxed book thread. It probably is a little bit too thick for this, but... Um, it will work. So I have to be a little gentle because this is just a drawing paper that I'm using. And so I need to um, go through this and uh, sew it on, but I don't want it to um, to come apart, you know, to have any holes that are there. So I'm real gentle with this. I could use thinner threads if I wanted, but I wanted these lines again um, to stand out here. And I'm just kind of, I pre-poked, like I said, the hole so I can have an idea of where I'm going with this. Okay. And so these marks with the thread are just kind of like element marks, marks that are here in different ways. And now I'm bringing it to the surface of the paper in um, thicker lines, you would say. Okay. Um, it's really hard sometimes, you know, to show these videos of working on these journals uh, because sometimes I just sit down and I start going and, you know, we don't want the, the video to go on for, um, you know, hours. So some of this stuff I've done beforehand um, and then I kind of talk about it. And not everybody's journal is going to look like mine. I am just giving you some inspiration and um, through a theme of what I'm doing and working with at this point in my one-page um, art journal. It's uh, Now I'm just going to tie a knot. I really just need one knot here. I don't need to make it so that it's going to be like on a piece of material or something like that and fall apart. It's just going to be on the journal. Okay, and I've got a knot there, and I'm going to cut this 
One of the things is you can untwist some of this and you can open these fibers up on the end of the threads if you want and just kind of let them hang off there if you can see that there and then the same thing over here so um just sharing with you got all my supplies i'm always grabbing for something and again i'm just going to close this up and i'm going to put the little rubber band elastic rubber band on there i added some material that i had and some other threads here um, just to give some dangly bits that are there and to make it more interesting. So um, I may still do a little bit to the cover as each one of these pages, but um, working the spread all the way through and sharing it with you. So quickly, um, I have used this corrugated, wavy corrugated, and I use red and black on here, just use my little cosmetic sponge, and I stamped on here, and then I'm cutting it out, I'm keeping this rounded shape at the bottom, and as I, I look at this, I'm looking at the circles, the roundness, the shape that's there, and I'm going to lift this up, I put a little tie here, Okay, and this lips up, that flaps up, and then here is the um, tea bag. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to, and it's open on the bottom, so I'm going to slide that in there. And here's the tea bag that hangs there. So I could just leave it just like that, um, tack it in there, pull, do something off on the side, add some fringes. I could do that. That goes down. And I think that's what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put some more little ties like that and do some of this stuff and let that hang underneath there. And then this um, page pretty much, um, it's coming together here. So i um, taking a break and I'll be right back. Okay, here's the little tab. It's got the little fringe that's hanging there. I am now inserting it into where the tea bag bottom is. And I am just going to leave that like that. I think it'll stay in there. And so I've got some interactive going on here with this piece. And leave that hanging there. And we'll see what other kind of detail um, to work on this spread here, this vertical spread. <laughs> 